Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. The purpose of this video is not to say that OG Deadpool is bad. Because he's not. In fact, his regen next to Wolverine, which I can say with excitement because he's now a six star in the game. Uh, but OG Deadpool's regen is, is some of the best in the game. But I think we would all agree that he still could be much better, and I think more importantly, probably should be much better. And so, we have a, a few people who I trust in the community that just do amazing work with rework concepts for buffed champions. And that is going to be the, uh, the focus of today's video, because we have my man and his champion spotlight for Red Deadpool, RSA Grawl, uh, ready to talk about Deadpool. Although, what's funny is, I think he's written so many champion spotlights that he has the spotlight, but then he has the text for Captain America underneath. He, he wrote a really good Captain America uh, buff up once upon a time as well. But this is about Red Deadpool. Want to be cool like me? Put down the stupid video game. Get off your sorry butt. Oh, get... Red threads, big guns, train like a billion hours until you're a master sword, really get what it takes. Annoy Wolverine and live to tell the tale. He is a mutant, of course. He's got regen. He's got fan charges, stun, and taunt. So basically, his mechanic involves um, more love because he deserves the love from his fans. Persuaded to give him a solid buff, and voila, the merc with the mouth is still the good old Red regenerating beast. So, you know, sometimes when you see buff concepts, and especially with Kabam in real quote unquote life, they can hurt a huge part of the utility of a champion. Here's looking at you, Guillotine. Uh, and while Guillotine, I still really like a lot of her rework, I wish she had better regen. I don't notice it as much, I'll put it that way. Uh, but this time he also packs a punch in his swords and his phone and his mouth. Uh, the list is in this. A major portion of his abilities are now based on how much love he gets from his fans, and also from his signature ability, which is, as usual for now, a secret. Strengths. Regen. Deadpool still retains his old wild regeneration, but this time he has a lot of safety nets, like immunity to regeneration, rate modification, and to heal block. You can't just punch out the Merc with the mouth that easily. That would suck as a defender, but be pretty exciting as an offensive champion. Fan charges. Uh, fan charges grant Deadpool a whole lot of abilities, such as increased attack rating, unblockable taunt, and the like. The whole arsenal is endless, so I'm giving you his abilities in the game for everything else. Consider meeting the Merc with the mouth, and when you do, do make sure to tell him just how great I made him in my rework. I have to let you all know that, like, this guy always does a phenomenal job with these reworks, but to see him using, like, the Deadpool tone in the descriptions of each of these concepts is really impressive to me. Like, it, it adds in an extra element of hard work, which he does a great job of. Weaknesses, power modification. Any methods of power modification will weaken Deadpool at his antics, thus causing him to lose out on a good chunk of fan charges. Um, so, looking at you, champs like OG and Vision Age of Ultron. Active play style. In order to generate and retain fan charges, Deadpool needs to keep treating the opponent like a punching bag. Therefore, nodes like fight or flight that restrict the window of attack can also cause Deadpool to lose fan charges. Abilities. Based off of a rank 5 5 star. That I think he should modify now to a rank 5 6 star since those actually exist in the game. Deadpool is immune to regen, rate modification, poison, bleed, and heal block. So, Archangel, not not today. Permanently regenerating up to 1,000, or excuse me, 16,412 health per minute. When the natural healing factor of Wolverine was implanted, Deadpool regeneration amount is tied to Deadpool's power meter. While a time debuff is active on the opponent, Deadpool can bypass, evade, miss, and auto-block abilities. That is awesome. Physical and energy resistance of Deadpool are dropped to zero, but his critical resistance has increased. Developer note, Deadpool is still the same old regenerating beast, only now with new abilities. Note that his earlier awakened ability has now been integrated into his main kit. He can also deal with the pesky defensive champions. His resistances are dropped to zero, but he essentially doesn't take critical damage. Who needs resistances when you can heal? When you got the heal power, baby! Amen. Here's the fan charges. For each hit landed either on Deadpool or the opponent, Deadpool generates two fan charges and an intercept of any mana grants five fan charges, max 500. Fan charges grant the following abilities to Deadpool. Gain plus 1% attack rating for each fan charge on Deadpool. At 10 fan charges, Deadpool's block can only be broken by heavy attacks. 
at 25 fan charges, intercepting the opponent allows Deadpool to inflict a 5-second taunt debuff, increasing the opponent's chances of landing a special attack by 70%, and reducing the opponent's attack rating by 30%. At 50 fan charges, the duration of stuns on Deadpool decreases by 0.01 seconds. Duration of stuns on the opponent increases by 0.01 seconds. For each fan charge, charges gained earlier also count towards this ability. At 100 fan charges, 100, Deadpool gains an unblockable passive for 3 seconds every time the opponent is intercepted. At 250 fan charges, Deadpool becomes immune to all damaging debuffs from non-robot champions. At 500 fan charges, Deadpool cannot lose fan charges for 10 seconds. So this really, speaking of being a fan of, reminds me of a much different version of, like, in some ways, Aegon. If Deadpool doesn't hit the opponent for at least 2 seconds, the fans start getting restless and annoyed, resulting in Deadpool losing 10 fan charges every second. So there is some pressure to be active, with, which makes sense of why notes like Fight or Flight would hurt. Over note, Deadpool's fans are crucial to his success. He gains increased attack rating, immunity to damaging debuffs, and blockable taunt and increased stun duration. 500 fan charges effectively increases the duration of stun debuffs by 5 seconds for the opponent and reduces stun duration by the same amount for Deadpool. Be sure to keep those fan charges up for some juicy, sweet bonuses. Heavy attacks inflict a non-second taunt debuff and can be refreshed by landing another heavy attack. This attack is the simplest way to ignore those pesky evade, miss, and auto block abilities, which as a parry heavy fan, I'm a fan of. Special one, split kick with a side of stun. Stun debuff lasting three seconds. Pwn immune to this instead. Infuriate passive lasting seven seconds. Special is a quick and simple way out of gaining fan charges. Landing continuous hits or a stunned opponent forcing intercepts. Sword spin slash inflicts a bleed debuff. If De Deadpool has more than 250 fan charges, inflict another bleed debuff. Cool. Special three, phone and gun prank. Yes, please, for Deadpool, not for the opponent. Devil tries a signature phone and gun prank on the opponent, but this time it involves an actual phone call to the developer, uh, a.k.a. this guy. When that happens, I give him immunity to losing fan charges for 20 seconds. Of course, it's only once. There's only so many phone calls the developer can respond to. Anyway, this attack inflicts a bleeding buff lasting 4 seconds, inflicting 10,040 damage. But we're not, I don't suppose I have much to say about this attack. Why not let the gun do the talking? Amen. Give it your best shot, right? Signature ability, the Merc of the Mouth is back, baby. Once per fight, when struck with a blow that would otherwise knock Deadpool out, he gives a final phone call to me, of course, and returns to the fight with 100% health. Hello, Nick Fury. Or so he thinks, because he also starts taking damage equal to 5 to 2% of his max health while above 50% health upon returning to the fight. So that's actually better than Nick Fury. Signature ability grants Deadpool an instant return to the game. Extra appreciation from his fans in this respect. Deadpool is exactly similar to Nick Fury, except that one of them is a blabbering mouth and the other is Nick Fury. <laughs> that's good. Uh, gold pull, we got some fun, uh, synergies, star of the show, regenerate 0.5% health per second, that's cool, hit monkey, bleed fails to apply opponent due to immunity, hit monkey deals a burst of instant passive bleed damage, 50% of his attack, also cool, Wolverine, old man Logan, regenerating health also gains a never fury facet, that's amazing for Wolverine, parry, stand your ground, all suggestions, this is an amazing concept, one of the best ones he's done, that's really saying something. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. What a fun video.